groovy. Hey folks, it's been a long while since I've published a video and my only excuse for it is, I just haven't had the time or desire to do so. My new job has been taking 12 or so hours of each day and by the end of that I'm just whipped. Happily of course, I thoroughly enjoy what I do. But I'm just so beat by the end of the day that trying to put something together is a lot of effort for very little return. And remember that phrase because it's going to come back a bit later in the video. Now before I get into the primary reason for this video, I want to address something that's interesting. At least it is to me. I've read a few identical comments in various videos of mine that go something along the lines of, quote, you need to speak faster, or, quote, you're too slow. I have a suspicion that the reason people respond like that is because I refers, refuse to use verbal fillers. Like, um, uh, you know, like, uh, so. Those are verbal fillers. And the use of them, in my opinion, is a sign of a small mental problem. Specifically, is a sign that a person can't not hear themselves talk for a moment. It's actually perfectly acceptable for a person to stop for half a second, collect his or her next thought, and then continue speaking. Really, it's okay to do that. Instead, what a lot of people do is like use, you know, um, verbal fillers that like um, keep the, you know, thought going. I won't do that. It's just awful. Now, with that out of the way, let's get into the primary reason behind this video. It's about age and what it does to a gamer, specifically what it does to a first person shooter gamer such as myself. As of this video, I'm about halfway through my 46th year. In other words, I'm a whole lot older than most of the people I play games with. I'm probably a whole lot older than most of the people even watching this video, too. Now that's not to say that I'm older than everyone playing or everyone watching. No way. However, I'm definitely on the older side. To put things in perspective, I was 20 when the original Doom launched. Let that sink in for a moment. Now why am I bringing this up? Haven't I spoken about getting older as a gamer in the past? I have. In the background is some more bad Rainbow Six Siege gameplay. You'd expect nothing else from me, of course. The folks that I'm often teamed up with and play Siege with are younger than I am, and they're infinitely better than I am, too. I haven't played a ranked game in a year or two, and I never will again. But if I had to guess where I fall, it's somewhere around Silver 1 or Gold 4. Maybe. Probably lower. The folks that I play with are usually high gold if not low plats, and on the rare occasion that I get to play with Matimio, high plat if not diamond. Siege is a young person's game. There's just no way around that. If your reaction time is starting to slow, you're going to find yourself at a significant disadvantage against folks that haven't suffered that decline yet. Make no mistake, everyone will suffer that decline. The amount of said decline and the age at which it starts is and will be different per person. But it will happen. Your hand-eye coordination will eventually feel like the signals between the two are starting to travel through molasses. And there's basically nothing you can do about it. It's called getting old. Now I can just hear the younger folks. That'll never happen to me. I'll do exercises to keep my reaction time up. You and a whole bunch of others will try to beat Mother Nature. Just understand something. Mother Nature always wins in the end. You'll find yourself at the age of 40 being matched up against your 20-year-old self in whatever the first-person shooter is du jour. And you'll wonder, what the hell just happened to me? Age is what happened. A couple of the younger and much better folks that I play with have chastised me a few times. They'll th say things like, you just need to practice more. Learn from the mistakes you make. And study what the pros are doing. Well, let's address that. Yes, I could theoretically practice more, learn from my mistakes, and study what the much better players are doing. But here's another problem with getting older. It takes more effort for an older person to learn those sorts of things than it does for a younger person. Restated, the effort expended to learn increases linearly as age increases. Again, for the cheap seats. The older you get, the harder this stuff is to pick up. That's not to say that I couldn't learn it, or that someone else my age couldn't learn it. It's not to say that we couldn't grind it out in practice and perfect it either. It just means that those of us in our 40s and 50s will spend way more time and effort doing so 
than you folks in your teens, 20s, and even early 30s. After that, we need to look at the old ROI, or return on investment. What return will I get if I've just expended a whole bunch of effort to get better at a video game? Will it pay my mortgage? Will it get me promoted at work? Will it keep my lights on, my other bills paid, and food on my table? As it turns out, it'll do none of those. This is where personal judgment comes into play. A person has to ask him or herself, is all this effort really worth what I'm putting forth? The effort for me would be a resounding no, not even remotely worth it. We each have to set our own priorities in life, of course. Once I hit my late 30s, I could clearly see that my reaction time was slowing as compared to my 20-year-old self. Further, I could see that my standing in the video games that I was playing was starting to drop on average. Younger folks were, for the most part, kicking my ass in these games, and it was frustrating to experience for sure. It took me a few years to realize what was going on. When I crossed the 40 threshold, it started making a lot more sense. Simply, I was getting old. And quite frankly, I have better things to do with my time during the day than spend significant amounts of effort trying to get a leg up on these games. Yes, I'll learn them and play them, but not at the same level that I used to be able to when I was much younger. Again, that's a priority I've set. Specifically, it's one that I've set much lower in my life than other priorities. We all do that continually throughout our hopefully very long lives. And I'd bet, on average, that most of the folks around my age that are still playing first-person shooters, of course, have set their priorities in a similar fashion as I have. We simply have more important things to concern ourselves with on a day-to-day basis. The point being, if you find yourself teamed up with a much older person in a game like Siege, and it looks like he or she is struggling a bit, pause a second before offering help. They may not be able to do what you're suggesting they do quickly enough or with as seemingly little effort as you can. And because of that, they've just deprioritized it. More than likely, they've accepted that they're not as good a game at, good at these games as the younger folks are and are just playing for the fun of it. Remember, some of us were playing first-person shooters before you were even alive. Enjoy the benefits your youth offers you and just understand you'll get here too, eventually. As a friend of mine once said, the same dog that bit me is barking at you. Enough about enough out of me for now. I'm going to go back to being awful at Siege. Later. Friendly last time. Op 4 neutralized. Mission successful.